to determine the surface tension of water by capillary rise method. Surface tension is the elastic tendency of liquids which makes them acquire the least surface area possible. Surface tension is an important property that markedly influences many ecosystems. Madam, how can we determine the surface tension of water by capillary rise method? Surface tension is defined as the amount of energy required to increase the surface area of a liquid by a unit amount. So, the units can be expressed in, in joules per square meter. You can also think of it as a force per unit length pulling on an object. Let's do an experiment to determine the surface tension of water by capillary rise method. Our aim here is to determine the surface tension of water by capillary rise method. The materials required are three glass capillary tubes of different diameters, traveling microscope, adjustable stand, a flat bottom glass dish, clamp stand, a glass strip, a needle, thin rubber bands, a thermometer, clean tap water, whose surface tension is to be determined. Procedure Setting the apparatus First of all, place the adjustable height stand on the table and make its base horizontal by leveling screws. Clean the capillary tubes and flat bottom glass dish with an alkaline solution such as caustic soda and then clean them with water and dry them. Take dirt and grease-free water in flat bottomed glass dish and put it on the top of the stand. Fix the capillary tubes on the glass plate parallel to each other and separate it by a distance using rubber bands. Set the glass plate vertically over the dish containing water by a clamp stand and adjust the position of adjustable stand so that the lower ends of the tubes are well immersed within water. Clamp a needle on the glass plate parallel to the capillary tube with its tip just touches the water surface. Measurement of capillary rise. Find the least counts of the traveling microscope for the horizontal and the vertical scale and record them in the notebook. Raise the microscope gently to a suitable height keeping its axis horizontal and pointed towards the capillary tubes. Bring the microscope in front of first capillary tube. Make the horizontal cross wire just touch the central part of the concave meniscus which appears convex through microscope. Note the reading of the position of the microscope on the vertical scale. Now move the microscope horizontally and bring it in front of the second capillary tube. Lower the microscope and repeat step 9. Repeat steps 9 and 10 for third capillary tube. Lower the adjustable stand so that pointer tip becomes visible. Move the microscope horizontally and bring it in front of the pointer. Lower the microscope and make the horizontal cross wire touch the tip of the pointer and note the reading of the position of the microscope on the vertical scale. Measurement of internal diameter of capillary tube. Remove the capillary tubes from the glass plate. Place first capillary tube horizontally on the adjustable stand. Focus the microscope on the end dipped in water. Make horizontal cross wire to touch the inner circle at point A. Note the microscope reading on vertical scale. Now, make horizontal cross wire to touch the inner circle at point B. Note the microscope reading on vertical scale. The difference in these two readings give the internal diameter of the capillary tube. Move the microscope on horizontal scale and make the vertical cross wire to touch the inner circle at point C and note the microscope reading on horizontal scale. Move the microscope to the right and make the vertical cross wire to touch the inner circle at point D and note 
the microscope reading on horizontal scale. The difference of these two readings gives the internal diameter of the capillary tube. Repeat steps 15 to 19 for other two capillary tubes. Record the temperature of water in glass dish. Record all observations in a tabular form. Observations Least count of the travelling microscope is equal to LC is equal to X centimeter. Table for calculation of height of the water risen in capillary tubes. Serial number of capillary tube centimeter. Reading of water meniscus. Main scale reading A centimeter. Number of VS division coinciding N centimeter. Total reading H1 is equal to A plus N into LC centimeter. Reading of the tip of the needle. Main scale reading A dash. Number of VS division coinciding N centimeter. Total reading H2 is equal to A dash plus N dash into LC centimeter. H is equal to H1 minus H2 centimeter. Table for calculation of internal diameter of the capillary tubes. Serial number of capillary tube centimeter. Microscope reading at centimeter. A centimeter. B centimeter. C centimeter. D centimeter. Horizontal diameter. D1 is equal to AB centimeter. Vertical diameter. D2 is equal to CD centimeter. Mean diameter. D is equal to D1 plus D2 by 2 centimeter. Mean radius R is equal to D by 2 centimeter. Temperature of the water is equal to T degree is equal to X degree Celsius. Density of the water at temperature T degree is equal to rho is equal to X gram centimeter raised to the power minus 3. Result. The surface tension of the water at T degree Celsius by capillary rice tube method is X Newton meter raised to the power minus 1. Precautions. Capillary tubes and flat bottom glass dish should be clean. Capillary tubes should be of uniform bore. Water should be free from dirt and grease. Do not use distilled water. Capillary tubes and needles should be set vertically. Microscope screws should be moved in lower direction only to avoid backlash error. Internal diameter of capillary tubes should be measured along two mutually perpendicular directions. Temperature of the water should be measured in the beginning and also at the end as surface tension is very sensitive to the temperature. Sources of error Capillary tubes may not be clean. Water may not be free from dirt and grease. Capillary tubes may not be of uniform bore. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.